Welcome back, everybody. I am the Jimmer. This is the Battle Wagon Smash. It's going to be episode 35. We've got the B BT1 Y Shocks by Crozaeus taking on the Big Transport by Jan. Or John. Or Jan. I, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. Let's go ahead and get this started. All the uh, standard settings. We'll do a quick uh, introduction for each side and then get the battle underway. Alright, over here we have the Y Shocks by Crozaeus. Uh, very nice design. Sort of well, well thought out. We've got the, uh, the stair step turrets in the front so that they can fire in a very large arc without interfering with each other. And then I believe this is a laser cannon up here. Yeah, you can see the. Uh, six barrel laser cannon could we take it on the big transport by Jan or Jan <laughs> this is actually a really cool um, sign um, the the main the capital ship is the garage and then the uh, three tanks actually ride inside and uh, you'll see once it uh, gets underway, the uh, the tanks will drive out and uh, operate on their own. It's just a really, really unique and uh, creative design. All right, we're gonna do it this way. Let's go ahead and get this started. Get the uh, the battle underway. And there we go. Get the avatar out of the middle of the battlefield. And there you can see the uh, the tanks driving out. Just such a nice touch. Both sides putting out a lot of DACA. There we see one of the um, battle tanks. Oh, two of the battle tanks. Man, they are getting blown up quick. Looks like the Y Shocks might be coming in for a ram here. It's coming in fast. I don't think it has rams though. I don't know if this is the best idea or not. We saw in its last. Oh, there we go. Turning at the last second. But we saw um, last time, I believe, the uh, the big transports pinned its opponent and uh, just pummeled them on um, that close range. Yeah, it looks like the the Y Shock's gonna gonna swing around to the uh, the back here. Uh, actually avoiding quite a bit of damage doing this. It's sort of in the uh, a blind spot of uh, several of the guns on the big transport. Big explosions on both sides. The y Shocks is at 98 and the big transport is down to 66 so it is way behind. Oh huge another huge explosion and oh there we have a collision. Looks like either side really benefited from that collision. You can see they're both just kind of backing into each other. The, uh, the Y Shocks has all three of these guns offline, and the uh, Big Transport has all but uh, just this one gun right here online. Or, uh, excuse me, uh, these are all offline, and then the, uh, the only one turret here is able to fire. Oh, looks like it took out the uh, the damage on the uh, the Y shocks. I don't think that laser's firing anymore. If the big transport just stays right here and keeps firing, it could win this battle. It is way behind too. It's all the way down to 61%. Y shocks at 95. Oh, the shield's starting to deflect those shells. Uh, don't move too far. You'll run right into these guns. Looks like the the Y Shocks has run out of engine power. It is completely immobile. <laughs> oh no! And the, you can see the shells just bouncing off the shields. Everything go. The engine turn the engine fire back up there, and the uh, Y Shocks back online, at least for the moment. <laughs> Big transport having a big big problem getting through those shields. You can see they're just bouncing all the shots. And there we go. Y Shock's able to turn enough to get its cannons online.
Oh, and there it is. Two damage. So congratulations to Croseus. Why shocks? Winning another battle. Moving on to the next round. Condolences to Jan. Really liked the big transport. It was a really creative and a clever design. Sad to see it go, but unfortunately, this is a tournament and there could be only one winner. I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. If you did, click that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next episode.